the planet we share. Each week, we travel above, below, and across its surface on a journey of discovery. From Africa, we cross the world to Japan, where giant salamanders must search for a large enough habitat to survive. In Okayama, Japan, locals celebrate a legendary amphibian, the Japanese giant salamander once faced extinction due to hunting and habitat destruction. Now, it's making a comeback. Most species of salamanders and their close relatives, the newts, average just a few inches in length, like this palm-sized fire belly. But Japanese giant salamanders can grow up to five feet in length and weigh 36 kilograms. That's 80 pounds. Known in Japanese as the Osan Shou, or pepperfish, this salamander is entirely aquatic and nocturnal. Look at that. During the day, these shy creatures burrow into the riverbanks to hide. It's a relic of the species. This animal has hardly changed for the past 20 million years. Judging by its ancient appearance, that's not hard to believe. Authorities have outlawed hunting the creature, but its habitat is still at risk. The hustle and bustle of modern Japan is hardly ideal for a giant amphibian. More than 125 million people live in this nation of small islands, and land is at an absolute premium. But the real threat to the salamander is here. Damn created to control flooding. Kyoto gets an average of 64 inches of rain a year, much of it during the monsoon season. A network of dams and floodgates prevent the city from getting waterlogged, but they are a barrier to the life cycle of the giant salamanders. Herpetologist Dr. Akira Mori is working on a solution. え、そういう場所はあの、where they can lay their eggs and continue their species. Zoos worldwide have had some success breeding the Japanese giant salamander in captivity. But Japan hopes that by creating a shortcut around the dam, it will allow these giants to flourish in their natural habitat. 